Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be experimenting with a fall drink. I just thought about it. I'm sure it's out there. It's, I mean, at this point, I feel like nothing is new, but it's a pumpkin spice white chocolate mocha. And I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible. We're gonna use the Hollander white chocolate sauce. This is very similar to what Starbucks uses for their white chocolate mochas. I love it. It has sweetened condensed milk, so creamy, so delicious very flavorful very sweet we're gonna do probably one pump and a half you'll see how sweet it is if you have it i'll link it down below it's gonna be on my amazon storefront and then i have some pumpkin spice pumpkin pie spice from i believe the brand is mccormick i'm sure you can find any brand that makes it but we're gonna incorporate these two ingredients to make the base for the drink and honestly it's gonna be if I were to make it hot or cold, I think it's gonna be the same um, recipe. The only difference would be um, the ice. If you have the Nespresso Virtua machine, a few options. I am gonna use the Bianco Leggero. Have you guys heard about the whole like ordeal? They're gonna replace Bianco Leggero with Bianco Doppio. I believe that's what the pot is replacing it with. I still don't know any further details of like when it's released. I know it released already in some countries, but as far as US, I don't know. But we're going to use Bianco Leggero today. And then if you have even Orafio is another good one. The only thing is that I only have one Orafio and I would want to use two. Double Espresso Chiaro is another one that I think would pair really well with it. And if you just like a little bit stronger than um double espresso squirrel would be also a great option so all of those options are available but if you have a favorite pod that feel that you feel works well with any recipe that you try just use whatever you think is good the full recipe is going to be in my description box so if you want to refer to that just go ahead and check out the description box as well as links and everything else but if i fail to link something always comment and i'll share the link with you if you need something specific um, so yeah, let's get, let's get to making this recipe. Starting off, we're going to take two tablespoons of the Hollander white chocolate sauce. Each pump, if you have this bottle, each pump will equal to one tablespoon. So we're doing two pumps for two tablespoons. Next, I'm taking a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I believe I have the brand McCormick, but I'm sure whatever you have will do. And then we're going to use Bianco Leggero as our pot of choice. And we're going to brew that right over our mixture. And after that, just give it a good stir. I stirred it a little bit, but I felt like I needed a little more power. So I grabbed my handheld frother and this did the job. Next, preparing our cup, I added some crushed ice, a half cup of oat milk, and then topping off with our base. Look at that beauty. tastes like if you guys have ever had horchata it's like a mexican drink it almost tastes like that wow oh my god this is so good let me wipe the cup because i'm spilling this is really delicious wow you can taste the pumpkin spice and you can taste the sweetness of the white chocolate it is so good guys i'm telling you the magic is in the hollander white chocolate sauce like i said i'll put it in my it's on my amazon storefront but i'll link it directly on the description box this drink is glorious it's so good wow holy smokes and like i said i think this is out there already i don't know if it is let me know 
but this is just my spin on it i used this oat milk just because i was i couldn't find chobani sometimes chobani is really hard to find in stores so this one is their extra creamy which does add seven grams of sugar i personally like chobani's zero sugar oat milk and i think silk actually has a zero sugar oat milk but i haven't had that one in, in a while but i do like it and they actually froth better and like i said this recipe like i said this recipe can work with hot versions as well so whatever whatever is your jam like hot iced it's going to be the same pretty much but if you have any questions let me know and i'll be able to help you guys out i hope you guys get to try this recipe it's really really delicious very refreshing iced so because we're still even though <laughs> it's not fall but even though all the fall drinks are out it's still kind of hot outside it's 85 right now outside in illinois so oh my god but yes it tastes so good so i hope you guys get to try it if you do let me know in the comments below how you guys liked it and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye